Hello, my name is Robert. I'm creating the best permacultural food forest in the world. And to create absolute abundance of organic foods, I'm going to need ultimate fertility for the soil. In order to sustain an amazing food forest for generations, I'm going to implement the ancient technique of biochar production. Making charcoal from biomass, inoculating it with soil life and adding it within the compost to grow the permacultural system. I have created my very first pyrolysis reactor to transform the biomass of my forest into valuable charcoal. I've used a 2000 liter steel diesel drum and transformed it into a very basic retort system. I'm using standard 200 liter metal drums that can be shoved inside these holes that I cut out and inside here will be the biomass. It will be transformed into charcoal. Underneath I will make a big fire that will burn hot and create a really high temperature within the retort chamber. I have small holes on the bottom to release the syngas so that the syngas can produce flames and reheat the system. This is a double barrel system so I can continuously fire each drum, remove the one that is finished and add a fresh one while the other one is still going. In this way I can harvest one barrel and then completely fill it again with new biomass which will be reheated by the other barrel which is still flaming and producing heat. This way it's a self-sustaining circle. I've simply cut out some holes, welded some pipe on the inside to hold the barrels and that's a really basic system. Put a pipe on the top as a chimney and it's ready for its first heat. I'm adding a piece of angle iron on top of the holes to prevent any combustion happening within the retort chamber. The pyrolysis reactor and the production of biochar is a key component to realize the beautiful system of permaculture and create a plant-based paradise. The time has come to harvest some wood, fill this baby up, light her up, and see how she performs. All right, I have been collecting some wood from the forest, all dead trees within the green lush paradise here on the mountain, and I filled up the pyrolysis reactor. The top, the bottom, all filled with wood. Now it's time to close her up with the lid and then light her up. All right. I'm just going to use a bit of diesel, what was originally in this tank, to get it started. Alright, she is on and ready for a lifetime of burning. Okay, it's been 10 or 15 minutes, the fire is going very well and I'll keep you up to date when the syngas starts to combust and the flames will shoot out on the bottom. It's been 45 minutes and the first paint is coming off. Here and over here and the burn is really clean because there's zero smoke. Well, it's been two and a half hours and I don't see any syngas burning. My wood is finished and the last wood is going to burn for maybe one or two more hours. I don't know why the syngas is not burning. Maybe it's just not reaching its temperature. Maybe the fire is too big of a distance away from it. I don't know. Or maybe it's actually burning but I can't see it. Or possibly the gas is escaping from the lid. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to leave it and let it burn out and see what's going to be in the barrel. The reactor has cooled down. Let's have a look what we have inside. 
Unfortunately, no charcoal. I don't know what's going on, but we need to change something. But at least I got real dry wood for the next burn. Right, it is many weeks after the first burn and I got the second burn ready to go. Both the barrels are filled with wood, this time drier and smaller. I got two upgrades that I made. I made a grill here that raises the fire 20 centimeters higher than it was, being closer to the barrel. So hopefully this time the burn will be hotter and more efficient, making sure that the pyrolysis reaction starts and starts the reheat cycle, burning the syn gas and creating more heat. And then I'll end up with some beautiful charcoal to add to my compost piles. And the fire is lit. Now we let her burn. All right, this beast is hot, hot, hot. Unfortunately, she's leaking here at the seals of the barrels. There's a bunch of oil coming out and dripping down onto the cardboard over there. The grass caught on fire and this whole thing buckled over here as well. So we're learning a couple things. Let's open her up. You can hear the gas escaping. But when I open the door, it stops going off. Alright, in the back there you can see the jet firing out the bottom. I think I need to enlarge the holes and make more of them to also lower the pressure on the top. The pyrolysis was a good success. All of the biomass inside the chamber has turned into beautiful charcoal. But let me explain to you the funny aftermath that happened with this reactor. So after a whole long day when the fire turned into ashes, I was eager to see the result and as I opened the lid I saw all this beautiful biochar inside and then I just left it for the night but the hot chars instead just ignited all of the charcoal, it burned into ashes and I came in the morning with an empty reactor. Anyways, it's a successful project. I'm gonna use this for my whole lifetime probably or even make a second version in the future. Thank you for watching and uh, you'll see more of it in the future. Subscribe to my channel to see my permaculture project and I'll see you next time.